everyone, Colleen here with Yarn Wars. It's been a little while since I have put up a video tutorial, but I have a new pattern that I am introducing to the crochet world, and it is a dishcloth or a washcloth for your face. Um, I'm going to call it the exfoliator because it has a really good... Um, texture to it would be perfect for an exfoliant so we're gonna get started um, you've seen some pictures now of some of the different ones that I've made up and I'm gonna be using the peaches and cream and this one is called strawberry stripes I love it okay so you want your cotton um, yarn to make this for sure cotton and I'm using a G hook and then you'll just want some snippers or scissors and a needle to hide your tails so let's get started here um, pull the tag off this is gonna involve um, a few different types of stitches and um, they're really simple stitches and this works up pretty quick so you should be able to make one of these in probably around 30 minutes it's really that fast to make this and hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay it's kind of bright in here which is good but um, with this yarn I'm not sure so we're going to start with our slip knot. I just am going to assume everybody knows how to make one of these. Okay. Slip knot. And you're going to start by chaining. You can make this as small or as big as you want to. Um, but it's going, you want this to end in an odd number. Um, we're going to do 28 plus 1 will make 29 total chains to start. So make 29 chains. <clears throat> okay so um, we are going to be using uh, I don't know if you're familiar with a grit stitch but we are going to be using one row of the grit stitch of the single cro single crochet grit stitch um, in between another pattern of stitches in this so it's not going to be a full grit stitch however because and, and let me just explain with a grit stitch you're working single crochets in a certain fashion down your row and then you're turning your project and working that same pattern of single crochets down the other side and that pretty much completes a um, row of grit stitches. So we will be working this like we would work a grit stitch, but it will be only half of that. You'll understand more when we get through this. So you can work a full grit stitch on this as well. If you wanted to work one full row of what I'm about to show you here, you can do that and then turn it and make another full row before you go on to the next. So, and I'll explain that more later, I'm sorry. So I like to work in the back spine of my chains just because it gives it a nicer finish. You can work just right into the chain like you do. I just like it because you end up with a nicer finish when you work into the spine. You don't end up with the single loops in a row. So. 
either way, you're going to work into the second chain <clears throat> from the hook. That's where we're going to start. And we're going to, if you're working into the chain, you're going to start with this one right here. If you're working into the spine, you'll turn and you'll see there's your first and there's your second. So we're going to work one single crochet into that second chain or spine. Then we're going to skip the next one and into the next one we are going to work two single crochets. get this a little better clarity on here. Hopefully you can see okay. We'll skip this next one and then we're going to work two single crochets into this next one. Skip the next one, work two single crochets into the next and you're going to do this all the way down this row. This is how easy the single crochet grit stitch is. It is literally as simple as that. Let me get this. <clears throat> get some yarn out for myself. Two single crochets in every other chain or spine. I call it a spine because, well, it looks like a spine. Looks like all those bumps on the back. I'm working with a dog, a train, and a helicopter. I don't know if you heard my dog, but I'm hearing all three of them right now. So, that's lovely. Hopefully, you're not hearing all three of them right now. Skip. Okay. The foundation chain is going to be probably the most painful of all of your experience with any of this. And, okay, so now we're down to our last three. Let's see that. I don't know why I'm not getting a good focus here. I'm sorry, folks. I'm trying. Just trying. You know what? I think it's this. Let me try again. Anytime I have something else to work with in the picture, it's not working well. So I have three left, three, either three chains, if you're working chains, or I've got three spines left here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip that spine. I'm going to work into my next one here. And then into my last chain, I'm working one, one single crochet. Okay. So that wasn't too hard. But see, when I work it into the spine like I do, I get this nice finish on the bottom. Very nice finish. Okay. I may have picked kind of a cruddy color to work with here and I apologize. Um, I'm going to pause this video for just a moment, so if you're still working on this, that's great. Um, I should be back in a moment. I'm going to go let my dog in. Okay, so I just turned my light off to get a better focus. Let's see if that works any better. Okay, so this is what we have so far. 
and this would be um, I would I would call this one of two rows of the grit stitch because you don't really start seeing what the grit stitch does for you until the second row so if you want to kind of veer off the pattern you are welcome to do that um, you can work another row just exactly like this and if you're gonna do that I'm not doing that for this tutorial so I will show you quickly what you'll do if you want to make a full grit stitch before continuing to the next and I will offer that as another option in the written pattern as well but if you're working the full grit you're gonna take you're gonna chain one and then you're gonna turn your work okay and you're gonna go right into that first single crochet and work a single crochet then you're gonna skip the next one and you're gonna work two single crochets into this one then you're gonna skip work two single crochets and you're gonna do this along the line all the way down just like we did before for this last row when you get to the end you're gonna work one single crochet into that last stitch but like I said I am NOT doing that so if you're just making the pattern that I am working today from here we are going to chain two something let's get all the way out of that okay so that's where we ended our row okay so now we are going to chain two and then turn our work for this next row what you're going to do is you're going to go not into the first you're going to skip this first stitch work right into the second stitch here a half double crochet so yarn over go into the second stitch and pull through all three then you're going to come back to your first stitch that we just skipped and do the same thing I'm gonna work a half double crochet so you're crossing back creates almost kind of a V shape right there now don't mistaken this stitch here for an actual for your next stitch this is not your next stitch here this is your next one this one has been worked in with this just pulling over a little bit so you're gonna skip this stitch go into this stitch with another half double crochet and then you're gonna come back to this stitch the one right before it and work a half double crochet Oops. it's easy to confuse this next one as a stitch and you don't want to do that because then you're going to lose your stitch count it's going to be off um, but this is just remember you'll actually be able to see a little line in there that shows you that that was in fact worked so we're going to skip this next one we're going to work a half double into this stitch and we came back and did one into the stitch before it so you're going to continue this down these are our next two stitches you're going to continue this down the row until you are at the end I'm just going to work this and then get to the end and show you what you do. And this is a little dark, but I'm hoping this makes my stitches with this color stand out better. I'm trying to help. Okay, and then we're going to come back.
Okay. We are going to actually do two rows of this. So you're going to do this row and then you're going to finish and you're going to chain two and you're going to repeat this down the other side. Really don't like how dark this is, but hoping, like I said, it gives you a better visual. Maybe if I turn this a little bit this way towards the light. And then we're skipping and working into our next one. Then we're coming back to the one right before it. So then we're going to get to the end and you got your two stitches left. We're going to work into this one first, then this one. And then we have completed this row. All the way to the end. Okay. Next we are going to Chain two. Get some yarn out here. And turn our project. And we're going to start over again, working that same row that we did before. You're going to work your half double crochet into this stitch, and then you're going to come back and work in a half double crochet into this stitch. And it does feel a little awkward at first, but once you get the hang of this, it takes no time at all. You'll be speeding through this project. I've made already several of these today. It's not easy to do with a camera in front of me. work in this pattern and this is going to be kind of a fun pattern too because it's going to create um, as you saw probably in the picture with the blue ocean looking pattern or cloth that I made you'll notice it has um, the stripes have worked in. Oh, what am I doing? So there's several different types of um, yarn colors out there that you can find some really cool pattern looks when worked up that this will work great for. I'm just going to complete this whole section with you because after this it's just a matter of repeating everything you're doing and then I'll let you go ahead and work on these and you can pause the video and then when I return I will have a completed one you will have a completed one if you have any problems on any of the rows before just go back to one of the sections of this video, whatever, how far, however far back you need to go. Okay, and then we're coming into our last one here. So we've got our last two stitches, one and two, and we're going to work our last one first. And our first one last, or the one right before it. We'll be coming in, working right into that. All right, so 
We've completed our second row of the crisscross stitches. And then to finish off the actual section, this will be our first section of the pattern after this one. We're going to chain one, turn, and we're going to work the same half of the single crochet grit stitch as we did in the beginning. So in the very first stitch, we're going to work one single crochet. Then we're going to skip our next one and we're going to work two single crochets into this one. Then skip the next and work two single crochets. Skip. Then two. And you do that all the way down the row uh, all the way down the row here. Skip and work two. And I see a dark pink coming in, which just looks very pretty. So when we get to the end of this row, the only thing I really enjoy about single crochets is they're so quick and easy to work up. So we're down to our last, we have the three last stitches, we're working our two single crochets into the second to the last, and then one single crochet into our last stitch. Okay, so we have finished one section of this pattern, and I'm going to turn on the light and see if I can get a better picture of this. Not doing well for me. So that's pretty. And um, what you're going to do next is you're going to chain two and you're going to turn your work and you're going to start working these double, the half double crochets again. You're going to do two rows of that and then you're going to chain one and work your single crochet for the next row up. So. Um, I will meet you at the end. You're going to just grow this to however or whatever height you wish. And I will meet you when I'm done. Okay, so now we have reached the end. I have gone as far as I'm going to go with this. Just um, the last row I did was a row of the grit stitch the single crochets across. So I worked the two um, crisscross stitches, the two rows of that, and then I worked that one grit stitch area. So to end this I always like to just go ahead and lock that stitch um, if you want, you can continue on to create a border. I don't like to make a border on my dishcloth, surface cloths. Um, on blankets, yes, but on these, some you know, sometimes I will. I did make one with a border. Just so you can see, you can just work um, a single crochet border around the whole edge of your project. Here's another one of the stripes. I just uncurled this, so... A little curly but it just worked up really nice I love how my strawberry stripes turned out you can see like little waves here the pattern that it makes from that crisscross it's very cool I like it a lot but like I said it has a great texture for an exfoliant or for a scrubber you name it you can make a small sponge with it be work work great for um, even a blanket very pretty pattern but it does work up very quickly and and I wanted to grab oh, there it is so I could just show you real quick most of you already know this but for those who don't we have a couple tails to hide so we're just going to kind of weave this in to the side 
and get this all hidden. I'm just trying to pull down that one corner first. Because of course, the way I ended it, I had one sticking up a little bit. But you always like to hide your um, tail around on the wrong side or back side of your project. This project actually creates pretty much the same on either side. So whichever area you hide your tails, you're going to be fine. I just weave them in and out until I feel comfortable that they're attached well. So I think I am good where I have this. I'll go ahead and cut this one off. I'll make sure you cut it close to your project so you don't have anything sticking up and you can pull it a little bit if you need to pull it in. And I'll hide this tail in a minute, but there you have it. I would call this the 30 minute dishcloth or 30 minute face cloth. It is that quick. Such a great texture with this. It would make a great spa gift if you're trying to think of something to make for someone. Um, you could use this for, like I said, a face cloth, um, a small sponge, any of that stuff. Um, these stripe patterns, though, really work up nice and look really pretty when they're done. But here's just an example of something you could do, too. You can just roll up each of your little washcloths. All cute, fancy, however, with a ribbon even. And just put them in a basket in the bathroom so... When you have guests come to town, all they have to do is grab one of the face cloths, and there you go. So thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. Uh, my name is Colleen with YarnWars.com. I hope you'll visit us over at the website where you'll find lots of free patterns by me. And um, we also have a group on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash YarnWars where you will find an amazing group of people from around the world who are so supportive and so creative. Um, they constantly are amazing me with the things that they're making. And they give you some great ideas. And like I said, the support there is amazing. Um, and then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel here. There are uh, new patterns coming out in the next two weeks. I'll have some new free patterns coming out and um, you don't want to miss it. So make sure to subscribe, come join us at the group and share your creations and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.